So I often get asked this question that what is unique about us? Parents ask me this, uh, students, prospective students, uh, industry, other partners and colleagues. In one word, it is our complete focus and single-minded focus on the actual teaching learning process. My experience has been that many institutions, even great institutions, they work till the admissions point to get the best possible students that they can get, which by the way, we have an outstanding group of students. I'm very, very pleased that they're here. And then they start to focus on placement, which is in the case of BTEC is you know, three and a half years after they've joined. But there's not as much focus on what's happening in those three and a half years that they're spending. That is the most important part. So our goal is to make sure that we make the learning engaging, we ignite the student's passion, we support them, we build in some discipline, and we help them become better citizens of the world. The most important thing for us is a hands-on approach. All of you will remember the first time you rode a bicycle or drove a car or hammered a nail into the wall to hang a painting. Uh, we remember all those moments, but I don't remember, uh, with due apologies to my faculty at Bits Pilani and MIT, I don't remember a lot about heat combustion engines or IC engines, although I did do chemical engineering. We remember what we've done. So what we've done with our heads and our hands. So as an example in our curriculum, approximately 32% of the contact hours, which is lecture, tutorial, practical, anytime the faculty and the student are in interaction with each other, 32% is hands-on. Through projects, assignments, internships, we are adapting and extending the very successful Bits Pilani model, it's been working for 40 odd years. And that model of practice school, we have close to eight months of internship in industry in a four year period. And that's a very, there's an article in the latest Economist, uh, <clears throat> which is a great magazine and I recommend everyone reads it, which talks about how in the US and the Western world, internship more and more is becoming a prerequisite for getting a job. So of course for us, that's not the only goal in terms of getting a job, but it's an important goal. In order to make this work, we have a system that has a semester system, internal evaluation, letter grades, grade point average, and there are choices. So let me give a real example. Uh, let's say I joined mechanical engineering because I thought I should, my parents thought I should, everyone told me, beta to mechanical engineer banja, that's the right thing to do. Then I started studying mechanical engineering and discovered that it's a somewhat of a matter of chance. With the elective system in my third year and fourth year, I can take courses from computer science because I find that I've become interested in programming. I can graduate with my degree in mechanical engineering and an expertise in programming, improve my employability in the market and do something I'm enjoying. On the other hand, if I find that I really enjoy mechanical engineering, I can take those electives into mechatronics or automotive and go more in depth into mechanical. The point is we have built in these choices into the curriculum so that as and when things come and things change, without disturbing the entire system, students can make those choices and we can offer those choices. I just want to talk about three uh, interesting things we are doing from this focus of hands-on and choices and getting people to think. And this comes from our institutional values of inspire, inquiry and impact. Ignite the passion that's inspired help people to learn how to ask questions. If you don't ask questions, you won't understand what the problem is. And finally, look at the impact of what is coming up. Whether it's a small impact or a big impact, think about the impact. So the first one is called Joy of Engineering. Uh, this has become so popular that I was at a seminar the other day and there were two colleagues uh, from other universities who were telling each other that, you know, BML Munjal University is the university where they're offering the Joy of Engineering course. So it's gained that kind of popular currency. Joy of engineering is very simple. Engineering is not just physics, chemistry, and mathematics. Engineering is for solving problems. And that's the exciting part. Small problem, big problem, world hunger, how do I rub out this thing with an eraser when I don't know how to use an eraser, whatever the problem is, right? Our goal to this course is to expose students to that aspect of engineering, that it is problem solving, and to actually get them to do projects, which they will design and then fabricate in the workshop so that they actually build something with their hands, right? Nobody said learning doesn't need to be joyful. It doesn't have to be only pain. The second interesting example is what we're calling workshop of the future. So we've tied up with Siemens, the global giant, 
And in the workshop of the future, students right from the first year will use Siemens PLM software to visualize and design objects. It could be an object like this. It could be a rectangular object like this. Then they will take it to the workshop. They will fabricate it. We have CNC, Computer Numerical Control Machine. We have 3D printers. They can print it out as a 3D print or they can actually fabricate it using the lathe and welding machines. The idea is that this is what I started to design. Maybe I ended up fabricating this. Now, the difference between what I thought I was designing and what I came out with is a tremendous learning opportunity. That's when I start to see what actually happened in the process. So we're calling that workshop of the future. Um, finally, one last example, we call it BEEP. BEEP stands for Basic Electronics and Electrical Engineering Practice. It's also a first year course. Students will build breadboards, they will do interesting projects, they'll do robotics, they'll build kits, they'll compete with each other. Again, the goal is use the mind and the hand to make things happen. Finally, uh, all this is going to happen because we have a very committed group of faculty. Um, they are passionate about wanting to build an institution. They're passionate about good education. They've been working hard over the several, several months now, six months to a year to make all this happen. And uh, of course, they have great degrees from institutions like IIT Kanpur or Chennai or Birspilani. Stanford, or they worked at MIT, like I worked at MIT, for example, University of Texas, but more important than the degrees is, again, their passion and desire to make something happen.